Hey everyone, Vanessa Bartlett here from PilatesHealthElite.com and today we're going to do a 15 minute Pilates fat burner workout. So I'm going to be moving through the movements a little bit quicker in order for you to get your heart rate up, really target and tone the tummy and the legs and glutes and our back muscles as well for that nice lean look. Okay, so let's start on the ground. We're going to warm up first. Uh, just get your mat with you as well. You can do this workout indoors or outdoors. Um, let me know where you do do the workout in fact. And um, let's start with a pelvic bridge to warm it up. So we've got our feet hip distance apart, taking a breath in. And as we exhale, I want you to squeeze your butt muscles and lifting up into a bridge. Breathing in at the top and breathing out to come down. Good, inhale, exhale and lift. And slowly down, stretching those hips out as you come down. So we want to create that length in the spine all the time. Good, and slowly down. Inhale, exhale up. Inhaling at the top, exhale to come down. This is a great exercise to really build your pelvic stability, your butt muscles, and also warm up through the spine as well. Good, and let's do two more here. Lift and down. And one more, lift and down. Good, so bringing the legs up to tabletop. Now keep your arms anchoring down onto the ground, tummy tight and moving the knees across, inhale, exhale back to the centre. So as we do our knee sides, we want to keep the backs of our ribs down on the mat. So that means you really have to work your obliques to keep your body from kind of lifting and falling with the legs, okay? Inhale across, exhale back, good. Inhale across, exhale back, inhale across, exhale back, good. Then we're going to do some hundreds prep, so warming up and working those abs a little bit more. So arms up to towards the ceiling or the sky, drawing the belly in, we want to lift up off the backs of the shoulders. So when you lift up, be careful that your tummy doesn't pop out or you've lost that deep core connection, okay? Stretch the legs out now to a 45 degree angle, pull them back in slowly and slowly come back down to the ground. Inhale, exhale, lift the body, stretch it out. So as you extend your legs out, I want you to press your inner thighs together and really work deep into the tummy. Those lower abs drawing in and the legs pressing out as well. Lift out, good, in, down. You want, your, you want to feel like your arms are kind of pressing against resistance as you move through. Okay, so everything works. All the muscles are active the whole time. Good, and let's do two more preps. Draw the belly in, lift, stretch out, in, down, good, and one more, and lift, stretch it out, in, down. Good, and we're gonna lower the legs. We're gonna go back to glutes and do a little bit more strength and tone work for our butt muscles. So keeping the feet hip distance, press your arms down to help you balance. So gently lift up into your bridge again. And this time we're gonna keep our hips nice and steady and lift and lower the right leg to a 90 degree angle for five and four and three, two, one. And now the left leg and five. So you should feel this actually on the leg that's still, the leg that's on the ground, three, two and the glutes one down good gently rolling down take a deep breath inhale exhale lifting back up into your bridge nice and high you can support the hips if you need to by the way and then extending the right leg up and flex your foot lower for five point the foot on the way up and four and three two one good down and change keep the hips elevated steady through your hips lift stretch it and five and four this is great to stretch your legs and work your butt muscles at the same time two one lift bring it down and lower good take your feet a little wider let's just stretch out the lower back and the hips a bit knee side to side for four very two, one, excellent. So now bringing the hands behind your head, 
lift the legs to tabletop, coming up off the back of your shoulders, and 12 slow oblique twists. So the trick with this one, get up off the back of your shoulders, don't get down here and swing around, okay? Lifting up nice and strong. Think belly to spine, tightening around the waist. Four to go. Three, two, good. One, and down. Excellent. So you're gonna bring the knees in now. We're going to go into an upper body stretch, which is really nice to loosen up the back muscles, especially if you do a lot of computer work or if you are driving um, and doing lots of things and lifting. So take the arms out to the sides, pull down and back through your shoulder blades. And I want you to really squeeze the leg muscles and anchor them down into the ground. So the feet are just a bit wider than your hips. Okay, so breathing in, draw the belly in. As you exhale, we're going to reach this hand to the ankle on the outside of it as this arm presses back like you're pushing something out of the way. Three, two, getting lower each time, and one, and lift. Good. Rotate to the other side, stretch and reach through. Two, one, lift. Now often when people do this exercise, which is called the saw, so like we're sawing off our leg, but not literally, it's very apparent that they're tight in the upper back just because of the way we move day to day. So this might be the one thing that you need to really work on. You might have really good ab strength or leg flexibility, but maybe your upper body flexibility when you rotate, like in, like in this movement, is not so great. So it's something you've got to work on so you don't stiffen up and get hurt. It's really important that you work through your body with total balance and flexibility as best you can and keep working on those weaker areas. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna bring our hands underneath our legs. We're gonna not slump and we're gonna lift up nice and tall out of our lower back. So there's a pizza string lifting your head up high, shoulders down and back. So I want you to lean back to the point where your abdominals are kind of like starting to shake a little bit and really work. So draw them in and keep them tight, keep breathing. And we're gonna lift our right leg up to a 90 degree angle and then the left leg up, hold it there. Then we're gonna balance, arms come out beside your legs. Hold for five, four, three, good. Two, one, and down, roll the legs. Open out through your knees and gently stretch forward. Great. So let's try that one again. We're going to add on a couple of movements and do what we call a teaser prep. So I lift the legs to tabletop. Now a teaser prep is where we start to extend the legs up to a 45 degree angle and bring them back down. So this is like the preliminary movement for another Pilates move that's quite advanced and we'll get to that in maybe one of the other videos. And draw the tummy in, stretch it up, lift and try and let go, extend your legs, legs working, abs working nice and tall, posture developing nicely there as well. Good, and lifting up, keep that stability in your back and your legs. Just do the best you can, hold for three, two, one. Let's do one more, inhale. Always lifting up away from the ground. Three, two, one, good job, and down, bring the legs in, and open the knees, stretch forward, reach your arms out as well. Good. Okay, coming up to hands and knees, we're gonna move straight into full plank and leg pull. So we've got our hands just a little wider than our shoulders, opening out through your fingertips. Step one foot back, keeping your hips down, engage your core, step the other leg back. Hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Bring the knees down one at a time, take a breath in. And exhale, step back again into full plank. Good. Now single leg lift for 10. Nine, now we wanna keep our hips steady as we do this. Eight, use your glute muscle to lift the leg. Seven, six, five, good. Nearly there, keep going. Four, stay strong. Three, two, one, now I'm gonna challenge you here. We're gonna hover down for five seconds above the ground. Keep your body strong. Five, four, three, two, 
One and come down. Good work. Bring your legs just slightly apart, arms down beside the hips. Strengthening into our back muscles now. Keep your tummy tight, pull it off the ground. Stretch your legs back, keep them strong as well. And then lift up through the chest. Hold, squeeze your shoulders back and gently come down. Draw the tummy in, lift up from the upper back. Good. And slowly down. Inhale, exhale, lift, stretch up and back. Really draw those shoulder blades down and in. Good. And lift. This time we're going to bring the right arm around in front and control it back. So we want to keep our chest high and imagine you're resisting through something, pushing through water. And then let's do both arms together, up and over. Pull back through the shoulders, keep opening the chest and down. Let's do one more. This is what we call stingray. There is one more move in this, but we'll do that in another video. One arm around, single arm around, and then both arms together, up and over. Really great to develop your back strength. Come back, lift up, lift up, lift up, and coming down. Good. We'll just do one more for back, which is called swimming. So we reach our arms out. Now the thing with this one is we don't want to kind of topple off from one side to the other. We want to keep really strong and centered. So the arms are just wider than the shoulders. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Draw the tummy in, legs nice and strong. Breathing in, lift the opposite arm and leg and lower, exhale. Inhale, other side, lift and down. And inhale, lift, good, exhale down. So your head will be straight. You're pretty much looking down at your mat. Now let's do six more. Inhale, exhale, five. Nice little bugs falling on me because I'm on the grass. Four and three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to go up into a faster version of swimming. So keeping your abdominals nice and strong, we'll just do 20 repetitions. So the same movement, just at a faster pace with your legs and arms off the ground. If it's a bit strong for you, stick to what we just did. Opposite arm and leg up, other leg up and switch. One, two, four, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Lift and down. Good. Let's stretch out our back now. So come into rest position, feet together, knees slightly apart and stretch down. Good. Excellent. So facing the front now, kneel up, face me. Extend your right leg out to the side. This is going to work our hips and glutes a little more. We're going to bring our hand down underneath the shoulders. So make sure you don't fall forward. We want to keep the hand in line with the hip. So reaching out and then a little bit further out to get a better stretch through your side. Now this arm is going to come up and behind the head. So really draw back through your shoulder blades here, okay? Keep your tummy tight. We don't want the ribs to pop out. Keep them drawn in and, in and down. Lift this leg off the ground. Rotate the heel down slightly. Flex your foot. I'm going to do two slow kicks towards the front. One, two. Point the foot and draw a straight line back. Good. And one, two. Keep the legs strong. Keep it the same height as it moves forward and back. That's the trick. You're creating stability in your whole body, toning and tightening through your tummy while you strengthen your legs and hips as well. This looks easy, but it's not, as you will know if you're doing it right now. If you're just watching the video, then hey, it might look easy. One more. One, two, and back. Now we're gonna do five circles forward. Two, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, Five, well done. Coming up, you would have felt a lot of work happening down that side of the body. Let's stretch out and do the other side. Nice and tall, shoulders down and back, abs tight, always number one. Take the hand out, open out through the front, lift this arm back behind your head. Good, lift the leg. Rotate the heel down, flex the foot. Two kicks forward and a slow kick back. 
one, two, and back. So your job is to keep your body as still as possible while your leg does the moving. One, two, and back. Good, let's do three more. And back, and two. Squeeze it out, one, two, and back. Now it's very common if you feel that in the supporting leg as well, okay, because you're working really strong. Well done. Let's come down and do a couple more ab exercises and then we're done with your 15 minute workout. Your heart rate hopefully is up. So hands behind the head, lifting up through your legs. Nice and high off the shoulders. And scissor, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, good, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10, 9, stretch the legs out, 8, keep lifting, 6, 5, 4, 3, tummy tight, 2, 1, and down and in, we're going to give you one more super strong exercise for your abs, definitely get your heart rate up even more, hands behind the head, Double leg lowers. Okay, so with this one, only go as low as you can without straining your back. I want you to really engage your core with super, super tight. Lifting up. Extend your legs straight up, rotate the heels in. Glue your inner thighs together. Hands back, supporting the head. Lift up. And we lower for five. Keep it strong here. Four. And three. Go lower if you can. Two. Slow all the way down now. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Roll yourself up off the ground. Lift. Stretch. Over. Okay, now I struggled on that last one, but it's because I'm on an angle, okay? Lift and stretch over. Four, three, and two. Okay, just settle yourself down, take a few deep breaths here. So if you do that workout each morning or each evening or whenever, and maybe halfway through the day to give yourself a break from work, do it in the office, who cares? Do it, uh, you know, if you're at home or in between different things. It's only 15 minutes, but it will really boost your metabolism, get your muscles strong, tone your abs, your arms, your legs, and if you do it every day, you'll definitely start to feel a difference. Let me know how you feel after the video. Send me a request for some more videos or any muscle groups you want to tone in particular and I'll film them for you. See ya.